Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing how to perform the batch delete operation on the dataverse records by using a web API, and we are also taking the help of Power Automate to run that web API. At a single time, we can be delete the thousands of records in fraction of second. This is the one of the advantages of this operation. So let's we go. Uh, so for this uh, tutorial, I also created one blog. Okay, for your reference, you can go through it as well if you face any difficulty in the video. And all the codes and other things are available here, so you can go through it. Then uh, we have one more um, operation like bulk delete in the admin center. If you go to the admin center, then we have the bulk deletion operation so you can take the advantages of this as well okay so let's say i go through this process you can select the new option okay in the bulk deletion record then just click on the continue then select your table here so let's say i give the table mine emp test and then here you can be add the conditions okay created by current user begins with okay so this type of condition you can add and you can use to this data set okay and then it will perform the batch operation okay if i go and give my name ravi and click on the next And also you can be schedule this. Okay. When you have to run this, you can all select and you can be perform this operations. Okay. So if you want to run this job after every 30 days, then it will perform. So in this way, you can do the bulk record deletion by using an admin center. Okay. So I just cancel it. Let's say we go to the power automate. Okay. So let's say I create one instant flow perform the batch deletion okay let's i give the name to this batch delete and simply click on the create here so before we proceeding to the flow okay let's i explain you the how web API behaves, okay, and how we are performing this operation by the Microsoft documentation. So let's I go to the Microsoft documentation. This link is also available in the description box. There you can find it, okay. So this is the delete multiple availability of the batch API, okay. So if I go and scroll it down, so this is the web API structure we have, okay. So this. Uh, data filters we have to pass or data max version or data in the headers okay content type and other thing and this type of schema okay we have to generate in json format and we have to pass it okay and then we get the this type of response in the backward so let's we go to the power automate and let's we add here first one variable okay because we need to loop this okay so let's say adding variable giving name to that item count because in our operation we have n number of record like thousand two thousand twenty thousand so that's why we are performing this one okay so then we need one compose action okay so in this compose action, what we are doing now, compose op option, we are passing this body here. We are creating this dynamically body. Okay. So this URL will pass our data type. Okay. And the portion ID and this table ID we will pass here. Okay. It is a unique identifier. So for that purpose, first we need the one compose action. Okay. And let's rename that to the GU id and let's go to the power fx here and just type the geo id 
it's create the hexadecimal string okay 32 digit let's we go and rename this to the template because we are creating one template so that's why and we'll use this code okay change set then we will use the output of our geo id okay content type application http content transfer is encoding binary okay and this delete edit link and content type application type entry so this schema this template is same for you as well as me this is as per the microsoft standards okay then <clears throat> let's uh, add here one do until condition okay let's i go in the control because we have to loop this till our condition satisfied so that's why let's i go select our variable item count and let's choose the is equal to zero okay and what do we initial it is one in this one let's we go and set a variable value okay before setting we need to load our data okay so we can load our data by using api as well but our video's intention is to just delete the row okay so for that purpose we have the get rows action here okay add row stores action okay let's add this this row action let's say choose the table my table name is emp test we will use the count here thousand at the time single count we can delete maximum thousands of records only so that's why passing the count here thousand then in the set variable we will use our variable name item count let's provide the value here okay we will use the length okay of our this one okay once it is become the zero at that time our do until loop will finish okay so we will add one condition as well okay once this action is this variable is zero okay at that time it should not run okay so let's we give the item count equal to zero okay if it is true then in that case don't run okay if it is not zero in that case we will go in data operation we will use the select okay in the select let's i go to the power effect and type here range we will use the range from zero means it will create an array for creating that schema here okay and then then we will use the length of let's we go to dynamic content and this one let's click on the add here let's i copy this one and add in the notes as well so you all can view this in the future as well okay then i will click on this plus icon okay and for the mapping purpose also okay we will create one schema so let's i go and paste the schema here okay so control c control v so this one okay if i so this is also let's i explain first what we are doing okay we are taking the output from the template that this one information okay and passing that each row okay into a list row item okay and we are also creating o data edit link from that one then we are simply using string add item that item we are adding here okay not a rocket science just click on the update our select action is done now okay then we will add one action here okay simply type here http and scroll it here then we have http with microsoft intra id pre-authorized version we are take here because in this we can easily sign up okay and we can do we'll take the method post okay here if you go in the change action okay i will showcase you whenever you are doing first time at that time you will get this type of <clears throat> login here okay so you have to provide the connection name okay let's i use the ravindra and here you need to add the microsoft entra id resource url okay so from where you will get so this url okay if we go 
one step back. From anywhere you can uh, get this, okay? So I will showcase you from the same table, okay? EMP test, okay? Let's say open in one new tab and I will ask opening in the same tab. If you go in this tool, okay, in the table and click on the API link table data. So here this URL you will get here. So you simply have to copy this one okay not only up to this dynamic.com okay go in power automate simply paste paste and do the signing so in this way you can be create the new connection okay then you have to use the url here okay so for url purpose you can simply pass the batch url okay so this url is same for each record okay if you are doing the insertion creation of the record in that case also it is same okay then we will pass the header according to the microsoft one okay let's have pass here accept and the value here is the application type json okay so from where you will get from this content okay you will get that all the values how we have to pass here you can say accept json if none type match null okay so this thing you have to simply pass it here okay so i'm passing one one here okay let's say pass no data version it is 4.0 you have to pass the same like me okay you don't need to make any changes here then if none match okay in that case return the null value for typing the null you have to go like this okay null and then click on the add here okay then we have the content type as well okay in the content type We'll add your content type okay go to add the enter value okay we have to we are doing the multiple batch insertion so we'll pass here multi parts mix boundary batch and the output of our GUID here okay so this output we will pass it here and our <clears throat> header is done now we will pass the body now so to pass the body okay let's say first doing the we need to pass the batch okay and the output of our guid here okay same let's say add the one enter and then we need to pass the content type here okay so same content type we will pass here that we are passing here okay in this way only we are because we are passing this in the body this is same content type that we are pass it here okay then we have to pass the output of our select action here okay so simply use your join body of our select and then use the decode component in the string format just pass your excla <coughs> percentage sign 0 a okay so now it is done let's click on the enter and then we will pass here the last two values okay change offset and batch value here okay so let's say pass it here so simply you have to pass same change offset okay guid and batch here, okay so our flow is done now okay end to end flow is done let's uh, i save this flow Let's we go to our table here. Okay, so we are already in table. Let's I click on the edit here. Okay. So in currently my table, uh, we are having the three values. Okay. So let's perform now run our flow one time. Let's see. It is saving. <clears throat> and friends, uh, if you have any question, any doubt, you can be asked me in the comment box. And please don't forget to 
add provide your suggestion and uh, also just like comment and share this video and please subscribe to the video as well friends okay so let's we are testing our flow let's we are signing first time when you doing this it will ask sign so here we are signing okay green tick we get okay let's click on the continue and run the flow so our flow is preparing for running let's click on the done let's i go to my power automate sorry in the power apps and simply click on the refresh here okay mm -hmm. So do until action is running over. And do the hard refresh. So our flow is run successfully. Only take the 25 seconds. Okay. Let's we go in the power apps and refresh. Okay. So our values is also deleted successfully. So that's all friends. Keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring. Have a nice day to all.